Hi everyone, Jöran Sander here. I thought I'd um, make a short video on the topic of user-initiated reloads from the hub. Um, it's been a discussion on the Click Forum and it seems it's possible to do, but it requires some um, tweaking of uh, security rules and it's not ideal in any way. The user experience is pretty bad, to be honest, um, or at least inflexible, but it is possible to achieve and I thought I show the um, custom properties and or rather the security rules that I use. So here's an app in the demo apps stream. It's an app called user reload demo. And uh, I want users to be able to reload this themselves. So right clicking, I see reload, I see manage reload tasks and manage properties. And this is not the way what I want. I want only the reload menu to show here. Um, I don't want users to see this manage properties. In this case, I've made it read only, so users cannot change any properties. But still, this is a bad user experience. Um, should not be possible to view this even. So it, I can remove custom properties here, um, but I can't view new ones and I cannot apply. So it's it's pointless. The uh, manage reload tasks is. Um, well, it's useful. Here I can see what tasks exist for this app, and that's nice, but it's not really something I want an end user to be able to do. For example, um, I don't want end users to be able to download a script log. It could potentially include sensitive things. And um, um, it, this is overkill. I don't want end users to see this, but there's no way of isolating these three and individually control which ones show, as we'll see. Um, what I'd like, is, again, is just a reload button. Clicking that should reload the app, which it does. It works. If I move over to um, the, um, let's see here. If I move over to the, where is it? The QMC. Um, I can see that the um, task was indeed reloaded here. Um, yeah, that's the one. It was a minute ago, so it was successful reload. Um, and it's a manually triggered reload of the app. And that's actually what happens here. If a manual um, reload task doesn't exist, Clicking reload will create one, create a new task and, and kick it off. So let's look at the uh, security rules that go with this. There are two rules, one for, um, uh, one for tasks and one for apps. And the tasks one um, will, um, if I want to be able to create uh, start tasks individually, I need to have the create section here enabled and here we see that this is only for test user one just to make things a bit simpler but let's say if i remo remove create here and apply and then move back to the app i refresh and reload this page i should no longer be able to uh, start the reload tasks directly from here simply because that action requires uh, create privileges you know it needs to create a new reload task if it doesn't already exist and uh, by removing the create, create privileges, um, I can no longer start the task directly from here, which is a shame. So this is about as slim as we can get. Um, I can still go in here and start tasks from here. It works. But this is not the end user experience that I want, especially because of the, uh, the script log. This might be possible to fix with additional security rules. Um, or or not, I'm not sure. Going back to the um, security rules, um, okay, let's um, put the create one back there so we can start the task immediately. And looking at the app rule instead, um, here I have uh, this enabled for a specific app. It can be more, can be app underscore star for all apps or a subset of them using custom properties and so on. 
Um, it looks like it's enough to have update privileges here. I expected the read ones to be needed too, but um, update must be there. For example, if we do it like that, so we have read and um, um, that this user has read access but no update. Well, it should not be possible to update the app then, I guess. And, uh, a reload is, after all, an update. But we can see what happens. Reload that page and right click. We can now manage reload. We cannot view the properties anymore, so that's nice. But on the other hand, we don't have any um, commands here. We can start the task itself. You can see the tasks. That's a different security rule, but we cannot start a task that modifies the app because we don't have updates permissions. So um, updates needed, read is not, and that's about it. The um, conclusion is that we need a lot more fine-grained um, control over what, what's shown here in this uh, menu. I guess that's the bottom line. Uh, might be possible to achieve with security rules or not. Remains to be seen. Uh, I suspect that some changes is needed under the hoods by Click themselves. Uh, hopefully we'll get that soon. And this is recorded on uh, February 17th, 2022, using, um, uh, using, let's see, this is ClickSense Enterprise on Windows, uh, November 2021. Um, no service packs, I believe. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.